everyone welcome back to the channel so i'm with johanna basford's small victories coloring book again and i'm already filming my second video because i couldn't wait to color in this book again this morning i did these little lemons so my idea is to film each of these little fruits and vegetables on this page for you so all the colors will be available for every single illustration on this page this one I will link in the description box and again all those pencils will be linked in that video. Um, but today I thought we'd do this one up here. So this is the pineapple and the watermelon. So I'm going to bring the camera as far down as it will come and I'm going to zoom in. And we'll get started on that one. Let's zoom in a little bit. But not too much about there, I think it's fine. So I've already pre-picked out a few colours at the side of it. And I have printed off a little reference picture just so I can have a little look at what sort of wiggly lines I have on a watermelon. But this one's pretty simple to do, this bit. It just looks like one block colour, maybe a little bit more darker at the bottom than the top. So I'm going to go straight in with that one first, I think. So I'm going to base this bit of the watermelon first with this teeny tiny pencil a light green 171 so i'm just going to put a light covering of this all over like with the lemons when i did that one i'm not too fussed about if i go outside of the lines a little bit sometimes it can't be helped when you're doing a really tiny illustration there we go and then with a darker color which I've picked out, this one is perfect. Permanent green 266, perfect color for this. So I'm gonna sort of use Johanna's lines as a little guide. Oh, I don't want to use this color yet actually, or do I? No, I'm not gonna use this color yet. I'm gonna use the darkest. I'm gonna use the pine green 267. And using Johanna's lines, I'm gonna go down where they are but also make them a bit wider in places and a bit wiggly just like it looks like on my reference picture so possibly bringing a bit of that out I am using a hard pressure on this one so we're making those lines a bit, a bit wiggly almost like you've turned up a bit tipsy to do some colouring <laughs> I'm saying that I, I don't really drink, to be honest. Nobody believes me when I say I don't drink. No idea why. <laughs> don't like the taste of it. I don't like the taste of it. I have a fear of vomiting, so that's just a no-no. And yeah, don't like the feeling of not being in control. So they're my three reasons <laughs> why I don't quite drink it. So yeah. Wiggly wiggly lines. This is quite fun actually. It feels strange to be going outside of the line art, but that's how you're going to get the most realistic look on the watermelon, I think. I hope I'm not going blurry because I am quite zoomed in. Sometimes if you zoom in too much, you get a big hand in the way. Or you get a big blurred vision. <laughs> There's an emergency vehicle going past my house, so if you want to take your earphones out, they can be quite loud. There's a couple by the sounds of it. Must be the police at this time. Because I am filming at, what time are we on? 20 past nine. 20 past nine, it will be the police. Especially if there's more than one. <laughs> there we go. So now I'm going to go in with that middle green, permanent green 266 and I'm just going to fill in some of the centre parts. So again medium to light pressure, I'm going to go darker at the bottom, all these little gappy bits, but also leaving a bit of a lighter green towards the middle area again, coming from up here leaving it a bit lighter in the centre this bit at the top I'm going to go straight in with that I 
I'm loving this book. You can tell. Well, this is my second time I've come on filming in the same day. So, because I just wanted to colour some more. And I did promise that I would do all of these on camera. So I thought, if I want to colour it, I'm going to have to film. <laughs> I'm going to have to film for you. Right, let's try and not get my big hand in the way here. I'm going to do all that bit a bit darker while it's on the, right on the edge. So now I think I'm going to go in with the lightest green. Light green 171. And just go over where we left it later. That one. And then right at the end, I'm going to do the white gel pen detailing in. But I'm not going to do it right at this moment because I don't want to smudge it. So we're going to move on to that pineapple. And again, I've got a reference for the pineapple because, yeah, we need our references. The only colour I've not picked out for the pineapple is one of the greens. It's quite an unusual sort of green on the leaves. But I think I'm going to use an earth green that's teeny tiny. So I'll have to excuse my tiny, tiny pencil. But I will find it for you. Look at this. It's tiny, but it is earth green, even though it's like come off 172. And just on the leaves, I'm going to use this of the pineapple. So light layer, light pressure, just get some of that colour down first off on all the leafy area. They almost look like, the leaves on a pineapple, it almost looks like, I want to say dusty. Like it almost looks like very, very matte. Yeah, very, very matte and almost like it would have a dustiness to it. It's really strange. I'm, I'm going to try and get that in, but we'll see. So on the edge of the leaves as well, there's sort of a bit of this sort of colour going on. Cadmium yellow, cadmium yellow lemon, <laughs> 205, it's a bit of a mouthful that. So on just random leaves, not all of them, I'm going to, on the tips, I'm just going to add a bit of this. Just on some random ones. There, just to add a bit of that. And then I'm going to add a bit of brown around it. So this raw umber, 180, I'm going to use that to go just where we've been with that one. Sort of merging it into it a little bit. And then you can even put a bit of this brown on some other leaves dotted around maybe. Put a bit on the edge of that one. And a bit down there. It's got this bit of difference going on with the colours. And then I think I'm going to go in with ju Juniper. Juniper Green 165. I'm going to add some of this to deepen up some of the leaves in areas. So I'm using this at the base. And then some of them I'll use it at the tip as well. There, I think I'll pop a little bit on the tip of this one. There we go, and then I'm going to go back in with the earth green that we used first and just burnish the bottoms. This pencil is super small, <laughs> it's super tiny, and it doesn't go in my sharpener anymore either. Not my regular, uh, not my Helix sharpener, it um, gets lost inside there. Mm. 
there we go now to create that sort of dusty look that i can see on my reference picture i am now going to use the white 101 i'm just going to pick a few areas to just put this white coating over the top because that's what it kind of looks like on the reference is that it's coated with this kind of really matte dustiness <laughs> i don't know it's really strange so there we go now next up for the actual pineapples so the first color i'm going to go in with is a light layer it's going to be the dark neck bulls orca 184 so light layer of this all over the pineapple don't know how i'm going to get into these segments with my colors next oh lord so with this one, you can sort of mix it up a bit with your colours. So I'm going to use some of this first permanent green 266. And just picking out certain segments, I'm going to pick a certain area on each segment to add a bit of this colour in. It can be the bottom of a segment or it can be the top of a segment. Mix it up. So it's totally random where you're putting these bits of colour so we sort of mix it up a bit like that and then I'm going to add in some raw umber so raw umber 180 and same thing again where you're just picking out random little areas on certain ones like that now i'm gonna add in some lighter green so with this light green 171 again picking out random areas and then going back in with the Dark Naples Oka 184 and filling in some of that empty space with this yellow now. So all the little white spaces you've left we can fill in with that. Now I'm going to get the white again because I am going to brighten up some of those yellow areas. I add in some white in there a little bit. Oh, pressed too hard on that one, didn't I? Now again, we're going to leave like white highlights to last, so I'm not going to pop them in yet. And we're going to move on to this little watermelon down here, which hopefully is going to be very, very easy. So first off, I'm going to use the pine green 267 for the edge so right on the very edge so i'm using a hard pressure here to start off with you can see i'm leaving this white strip here so i'm just like splitting this line out into two Doing a dark line and then leaving a line for the white or the lighter colour, should we say? So I'm just buffing the edge of that like so, and then I'm gonna use um, is it a cream? Where's my cream pencil or my ivory pencil? I think I'll use the ivory. So with the ivory, I'm just gonna go into that white part 
so you can see that yeah that's really nice that's worked really nice it's just keeping that bit bright and then we're going to go in for the actual watermelon so i've picked out two reds one slightly darker than the other let me just check which is my darkest one yeah that one so we'll go in with the lightest first which is scarlet red 118 and I'm going to go all over. You can try and avoid the seeds or it doesn't really matter if you go over with this because you can, we're using a really dark grey for the seeds so it will cover it I think but don't worry if you go over them by accident. And now I'm going to use the darker of the reds, which is Deep Red 223. And I'm going to start with this right at the bottom. And a bit around there. So I'm starting off with a head pressure at the bottom and then as I get a bit further up I'm really lifting off that pressure. So I'm just bringing this round at the top and then blending it into the centre. So that you've got this sort of paler section going on down there. And then I'm going to use my white. So white 101. Just in the centre there. Now sometimes when I use white I feel like it's put too much of a white coating on. So then I'll go back in with my mid-tone colour. So if I look for my scarlet red now, I can bring a bit of the scarlet red back over the top at the edges, sort of blend it a bit better. And then I'm going to use a really dark grey for the little seeds. So I've picked out cold grey 235. Now these seeds, they don't need blending or anything, they're teeny tiny, I'm just going to go in with a hard pressure and we're just going to block colour those. Feel like this pencil might snap. <laughs> Getting ready for it. Trying my best not to get my big hand in the way here now. Just gonna use the scarlet again just to go into this little section here. just feel like I need to add that in a little bit more around the bottom section. There we go. I think I'm going to add a bit more of a darker brown into my pineapple if I can. There might be no two for the paper left because I burnished but I did want to put a bit of this nugget in there and in between some pine green as well in between the little bits so we'll try that so going in with the nugget I'm just deepening up some of the sections Do that, Kirsty. I'm so heavy handed, so heavy handed. Let me get my duster brush. I am mad. <laughs> Is it 
but I like the way that's looking better with that bit of nugget in there. And now in between some of the segments, I'm just going to go in with the pine, 267. It's all sort of outlining them almost, so just following the lines like that on some of them. Just buffing it out a bit to blend. There, that'll do, Christy telling myself that'll do so now i want my white gel pen details so i'm going to start off let me check it's working i'm going to start off around these seeds so down sort of one side of the seed i'm going to draw a little line for a little highlight on there so you really have to be careful here because it's teeny tiny and sometimes i think this is a 0.8 as well yeah 0.8 if you can get a smaller one that might benefit you more but my smaller ones aren't working at the moment so pop your little highlights in there you can even pop a little an extra little highlight around the edge if you want i know we went in with the ivory to blend that but if you feel like you want it a bit brighter you can add in little sections with your gel pen like so then on the pineapple i think i'm gonna do some little highlights in the center sort of of them some bigger than others They've sort of got this sort of little white bit in the middle. It's really interesting pineapple skins, I think. There we go. I don't know if I want anything on the leaves. Maybe a few little lines here and there. Maybe a few little highlighted lines and dots, maybe. There we go. And then on the actual big watermelon, I don't know if I want any highlights on there. Maybe at the top where we had this um, little circular bit. Maybe outlining that. It looked like it had a little white line going around there. And then just pick out a few random white lines on it. Just very, very delicate on this one. Let me try and get that view. There we go. And as I did a little bit of uh, something in the bottom here for the background, I'm going to do a little bit of a shadow around here as well. But I think I'm going to use a bit of green. So I'm going to go for the lighter of the greens. So I'm going to go for this one, light green 171. I'm just going to put in a little bit of a shadow. All around the edge. So darker under the object, then fading off. 
fading away into the distance. I'm off camera though, what are you doing, Kirsty? I'm trying to move the boot ring so my hand can be in the right position. Dark under the object and fading away. Now let's get my white so that we can blend out the edges. Just gonna clean it off. So this is white on zero one. I'm just gonna use it at the edges of where I've put the green just to blend it into that background. Just move that harsh line out there as well that we ended up with. Let's twist around. There we go. I'm just going to go back in with the pine green just under this last bit here. I'm going to turn around because I've just put a white coating over some of this green bit that I really need darker. Let me blow the dust away. There we go. So that's our second little one. So let me zoom back out. Where are we? And come up a little bit. And we should be able to see both little illustrations there now. How cute. So that's our little watermelon and pineapple. Which one should I do next? I was trying to figure out what these fruit and vegetables were as well. So correct me if I'm wrong and let's try and work it out. So this I'm guessing an orange because of the segments. This could be a raspberry or a blackberry. Then we've got what looks like cranberries, an apple, cherries, gooseberries, strawberries, pomegranate and a pear. I've already done my lemons. Then this is grapes. This looks like tomatoes. Then this is, what was this when I googled it? Cause I thought, oh, that looks like that. Was it a papaya? I think maybe a papaya. This, I was really stuck on what it is. Um, oh, what was that fruit I googled? I googled a fruit, something like permission or something like that. And it really looked like it could be. Let me know in the comments if you know what this is. And obviously aubergine aka eggplant if you're in the US <laughs> but yeah which do you want to see me do next really really enjoying these little illustrations I really am I'm doing all of these on camera so stay tuned for all the rest of the videos please do hit the big, big thumbs up subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in the next one bye everyone